Let me start off by saying welcome. Welcome to FOSDEM 2011. Um, yeah. So I hope you know why you're here <laughs> and what this conference is about. So this is FOSDEM, the Free and Open Source Developers European Meeting. Um, this year we have more than 300 talks. I counted yesterday 326 to be precise. That's a lot. Um, with more than 300 speakers, 304, I think. So that's uh, exciting. Um, FOSM itself is organized entirely by volunteers, which makes it quite unique. Uh, it's also free, of course, and uh, well. Um, it started out on uh, February 2001, and this is the 11th edition. Last year we celebrated our 10 years. Now, uh, what, what does our schedule look like? Well, we have three keynotes, namely uh, Eben Moglen, uh, Chris Lettner, and Jonathan Corbett. Jonathan will talk tomorrow, and uh, Eben and Chris are after this welcome talk. And we have six main tracks. Uh, they will also happen here and in the other room about system and browsing. And these are all invited talks, but that's not all. We also have uh, 25 developer rooms spread over the two days. So lots of projects and uh, talks and 32 lightning talks. Now, if we sum this up, then, uh, then this amounts to 201 hours and 10 minutes of talks. That's totally amazing. But luckily, it's uh, spread over two days, so it's only 100 hours today. Yeah. <laughs> Now, <laughs> actually, I would especially like to thank the speakers. And uh, Mark told me that I couldn't fit all of the 304 speakers on the slide, so I decided to prove him wrong. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> if you want, you can even verify it. So, uh, OK. Now, the booklet. This is the booklet. Uh, you can get it at the info desk. It contains lots of practical information about this conference. So the first thing is, of course, general information, the, necess the necessary things of life, network, and food, and also some other things. Uh, the second thing is maps. So if you get lost, well, then it's too late. But before you get lost, get a booklet. There are maps on it. And uh, it also indicates the important things, like food and the bar and food bar and all that stuff. Okay, the schedule, of course, is also in it. Um, that's actually most of it. <laughs> and, uh, and there's more. Now, for those that already, who already has a booklet, can you raise your hand? That's, okay, nice. <laughs> well, I, I do have some bad news. It's, uh, it's kind of static, which means that uh, some, some part of the schedule already changed, as you can see there. Most notably, there's a web browsing track talk added. Um, now, what I'd like to ask especially is who has got one of those smartphones? Can you raise your hand if you have a smartphone? <laughs> All right. Can you? Because, we, of course, the schedule is also online. Maybe even more practical forms, more elaborate forms. It contains the descriptions and everything. And there are plenty of ways to go to, to get the schedule, namely, uh, just go to the website with any device. We also have a mobile version, m.fosm.org. Um, and then plenty of applications for all sorts of, uh, of uh, smartphones. So if you just go to the website, you should be set and have the very latest schedule all the time with you. OK, now, some uh, localization, perhaps. Well, it's not localization. But anyway, you're here. This is the Janson building. Um, Mark? And uh, the main tracks will be happening here, but also in uh, Chavon, which is where the other arrow points to. It's uh, conveniently located far away from here, so that uh, you do some exercise. <laughs> um, now, the, the dev rooms and the stands, they, will, they are in the, in the H building and the AW building. Um, the AW building, again, a, a short walk, but that's uh, to keep you fresh. Now, the dev rooms. There's something I need to tell you about the dev rooms. The dev rooms will be full. <laughs> it's true, I guarantee it to you, they will be full. So, if there's this 
fantastic talk that you're in, and you say like, ah, I still have two minutes to go to this other talk in this other room, and you, you know, you run, or then you'll probably encounter this sign. Um, every every room has one, and if this sign is shown, then please do not enter the room. So every room has a certain capacity. Um, if we if we go over it by too far, then the security gets angry at us and they kick us out of not only that room, but this entire facility and Fosen will be over. So we, we don't take this lightly. And if, if you would see somebody that is so rude as to ignore this sign, then don't hesitate to be rude back to him, right? <laughs> On the other hand, if you plan your schedule in whatever way ahead of time and you arrive uh, when it's still uh, when it's not full yet, then of course you're free to enter. Okay. Now onto something lighter, or well, perhaps heavier. <laughs> Food, Belgian fries, the second best reason to come to Fosdem and Belgium in general. <laughs> the first best reason we will see later. But so uh, there, of course, will be plenty of uh, Belgian fries and also sandwiches, hamburgers. Pizza and pasta. The last two are uh, new additions this year. Where can you find them? Um, here in the back of this building, there's, uh, you can get sandwiches there. And then um, where the other arrow points to, there will be the fries and the pizza vans. Now, as you can see, they haven't arrived yet, <laughs> but uh, by lunchtime they will. Um, can you go back? Of course, there are also local shops around, so if you, if you follow the arrow upwards, uh, there's also a map in the booklet, then you will find restaurants and shops and all that you want. Yes, the very best reason to come to Fosdem and Belgium, the beer, of course, and beer and beer and <laughs> beer and... You, you might have been at the beer event yesterday, <laughs> So there's more here. Uh, there's a, you can get it again, very close to, the, to where you are right now, close to the source. And the other location is a bit further away, but uh, it's worth to go there because it's a lot larger there, it's more quiet, it's warm, it's cozy. So if you need a break, uh, if it's too many people, then you can go to the other bar uh, and, and hang around there. Okay. So, um, of course, the conference is more than just beer, fries, and uh, talks. <laughs> what you also have is a cloakroom. So if you have a, a big luggage and coats and everything, then you can store them safely away. Uh, it's also indicated in the booklet and indicated with arrows. We have hacker rooms. You can check your email there. Uh, there's also wired internet. So for those that <laughs> still don't have a decent driver for their wireless card, you can... Uh, <laughs> Should be, should be very few, though. Um, the key signing party, that's on Sunday. Um, and then on Sunday, we also have uh, a buff room. That's a, a room in which you yourself can, can schedule a part of it. Um, and the way to do this is that in the AW building, on one of the walls on the left, uh, there's the schedule, and you can just write down your name, and so you can reserve 15 or 30 or 45 minutes of that room for your project so that you can have a sit together and do some brainstorming or hacking. And then lastly, there are also certification exams. Now, again, uh, see the website or the booklet for more information. Now, networking. I don't think anybody uh, disagrees that networking is an essential part of any conference. So let's go into do some more detail about it, <laughs> right? Now, what's special about our network, Mark, is that the, we have a, a one gigabit uplink and it's provided for free by Belnet to us. That's incredibly awesome and fast. What's also incredibly nice is that the backbone is actually from the ULB. So that's the uh, Université Libre de Bruxelles, the guys owning everything of this, and they, they allow us to use their fibers and to use their access points. And, um, and the last part is that there are some guys from Cisco who are extremely helpful, and uh, they also, for free, they decided to come here and set up the wireless network entirely for us. Uh, we're incredibly lucky to have them, and if we go along in this direction, um, 
to our official sponsors. O'Reilly is our cornerstone sponsor, and the ULB, again, they provide us these facilities for free. And without that, I mean, FOSDEM wouldn't be for free, and this wouldn't be possible, and, well, the atmosphere and everything would just be totally different. So, a big thanks to them, and also to our other, all our other sponsors. Um, now, you can also sponsor us, because sponsors is only one part, I think about half, of, uh, of what, what we use to run FOSDEM. And the other part are the donations. Right? So in the info desk at the, in the H building, uh, you can donate. And if you donate some money, then you get stuff and you can win stuff. The first three things is what you get, depending on, uh, on how much you donate. And the last three things are what you can win if you donate. And so the, the, draw for, the donations draw will be on Sunday, just before the closing talk. Um, well, yeah, then of course there's one last thing, especially if you've been to FOSDEM before. Mark, can you... So, there's this thing called <laughs> the mythical FOSDEM dance. It started out in 2006 as a, as a story between the, the, the two guys that started FOSDEM. And then uh, every year more and more people joined in to do the FOSDEM dance and last year we celebrated our 10th anniversary with everybody doing the FOSDEM dance together. So, yeah, it was fun, but how, how do we improve that? How can we do even better? That's... So, one, one of the remarks that we got is that, you know, it's called the FOSDEM dance, but it's not really a dance. And they kind of have a point there. So we're going to do something about it. Of course, you cannot dance without music. And that's where you guys are going to come in. OK? So let, let, just follow me here. Let, let's try something. OK, I'm going to ask everybody to clap at the same time. Only, only this part. Eh? You guys are, are coming in a minute. So everybody ready? So when I clap, you just join me, all right? I was going to say, okay, but no, that, that's just bad. Okay, let's try again. One, one clap. Okay, we're going to try, try the same here. All right, so one clap. Two claps. Excellent. Now, you guys, something different. Uh, make sure that there's some space in front of you because there, there's this fantastic wooden soundboard sitting in front of you. Right, so if I do this, then I'm going to ask you to just slam the soundboard as hard as you can. All right, so that's I'll, I'll, I'll do it store, right? Yeah, <laughs> okay, now we're going to eh, create it a bit more. So when I, do, when I do this, I want both sides to clap, and when I do this, I want the middle side to, well, to make. All right, are you ready? Okay, okay. Okay, so, okay slight variation. Um, ah, light clap. <laughs> yes. Perfect, perfect. Oh, well, not perfect, but really good. <laughs> okay, I think that we have the bass set now. So the music is there. I guess that leaves the Fosdem Dam itself. So can I ask the, the staff that's here to join us? Uh, so you will be providing the music, and we will be doing a real Fosdem dance. Now, they don't know uh, what to do, so uh, I'll, I'll shortly explain. No, so... Um, the rhythm is going to be the same thing as, uh, as Mark just demonstrated. Let's, yeah, do it again. Okay, that's going to be the rhythm. Go, go ahead, yeah? Okay, and then what we do is left foot, back. Wait, 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 wait.
Enjoy.